Hello ladies and gents, welcome to another Pro Evolution Soccer 2020 tutorial with your host Spoony Peters. Today we are looking at a two-part series of a passing tutorial. So the first part is about online play, which is what you're seeing here. So you're going to notice that the players tend to be very aggressive sometimes from the front. And this sort of lofted pass you're seeing here is a great way to sort of bypass players especially if you've got um, players nearby to support. So all you need to do is hold your right trigger and press your circle, which is your special controls and lob pass buttons, and then put a fraction of power, just a very, very gentle touch, just to loft it over that player's head to your nearest player. It's a really effective tool to sort of keep your opponent guessing, knowing that you just can't just cut out the passing lanes. When you are building attacks, look for those runners from deep, as you're seeing here. So sometimes they're always in a better, they may be in a better position to cross the ball or pass the ball. So what you want to do is try and keep your um, your opponent guessing, keep moving the ball, wait until something opens up. And what you're going to see here is as I play it back into the center, look at who he's got here selected. He's going to bring him out, so I'm going to think about that as I'm building this play. So the little one too may have seemed pointless, but you can see I've already bunched three of his players up, leaving my wide man there totally free to cut in and score from corners you've always got a chance to break away so you want to try and play it into your furthest player forward and then just sort of lay it off backwards and what this does it drags your opponent's sort of defense out leaving you room to run in behind now unfortunately here he positioned his defender well he um he didn't commit too soon so it would have made the uh through ball very hard to pull off don't be too hasty to sort of lump it forward when you're in your defensive third be sure to sort of try and play it out if possible obviously don't be stupid about it but um if you feel confident and you can play it out it's a really good idea to do that because what that does it sort of leaves a number of his players further up the pitch and don't forget to wait for support before crossing the ball also don't forget to increase the temp of your passing sort of one touch especially if everyone's really close because on pa1 you sort of have to be facing the right way, otherwise the passes will go astray. But you're going to see here a nice little step over, holding special controls and the uh, player select button just to let the ball run through. So keep, you know, keep aware of where your players are because things like that may open up as you saw there. Now, we saw one player who, who was sort of coming out aggressive, pressing. Now we've got another player here who's happy to sort of play all out defense, conservative. Keep everyone back. Again, using that nice little... Um, sort of lob pass in the midfielder zone there just to sort of drag a player out and as soon as you get that player to commit that leaves space in behind for you to sort of penetrate and you're seeing exactly that now just sort of the the mix of passing and through balls so be sure to sort of slow YouTube down and uh, you can sort of see the mix of passes I'm using as well as the amount of power I'm putting on these passes so a lot of a lot of quick passes in the sort of final third like I said ramping up the tempo it just makes it harder for them to sort of select the correct player and that's exactly what I'm doing. you want to try and make it as hard for them as possible to um, sort of defend your attacks and one of the things you will notice online is that players change the way they play um, depending on the scenario so this player was 1-0 down at first he was just sort of content to sit back but now you can sort of see him applying a higher press but then when it came to the defensive zone he was happy to drop off once I got past his the halfway line try to draw him out here with sort of sideways passing to see if I could get any of his players to sort of come out but it wouldn't let me so again just really patient bit of a lofted pass there just to shift shift players around really and then I saw my player making a really good run but couldn't quite find him with that through ball now this is early on in another game he was again content to sit back so like I said just try and remain as unpredictable as uh, as you can online um, that's, you know half the time I don't know where I'm going myself to be honest so this is all sort of instinctive rather than thinking oh okay I'm gonna do this I'm gonna do that just wait for things to open up look at your players and when they make that run then just feed them and hopefully you'll score to add to your unpredictability, don't forget to use Super Cancel for cancelling passes and through balls, as you're going to see here. So sort of, I'm sort of fainting to pass to the guy in the middle of the pitch, and you can see this player sort of facing that way. That's just going to make the passing out from defence a lot easier because 
the guy at the top of the screen is going to be wide open for the pass as you see in there so yeah just keep moving your players around don't always face change direction quite frequently turn um, it just gives your opponent sort of thinking like where are you going to pass the ball next because cutting out the passing lanes is made so much harder by doing that now when you are building attacks one of the best positions you can get into is this scenario here where my player my attacking midfielder is in between their midfield and defense so there's a giant gap there i can just run at the defense draw this defender across that's one defender out the picture now he's already moved another defender out from defense and that's why this chap had so much time to score and that concludes this tutorial ladies and gents thank you for joining me and i look forward to seeing you in the second part where we're looking at the offline passing tutorial until then, I'll see you soon. Bye-bye.